And 24 hours after the deadly knife attack on the UT campus, rumors and conspiracy theories are still being spread on social media. And the investigators tonight are trying to set the record straight. They believe the motive is tied to the suspect's history of mental illness and nothing more. KXAN's Alicia Inns looks at the role the social media storm played, adding chaos to confusion. When news of a deadly attack on campus hit thousands of students, social media reflected their pain and anger. It also became a rumor mill. Rumors the suspect was targeting specific people. This was not a conspiracy. This was not a person that had a vendetta against any particular group. Social media posts pointed to students involved in the Greek system. There was a lot of information that was floating around on social media um, regarding, you know, regarding that fraternity members were, were, or people were being targeted because they had Greek letters on their shirts or anything like that. None of the victims in this case was wearing anything that would indicate that they were actually members of a fraternity. At the same time as the UT stabbings, police were getting tweets and tags of a possible nearby bombing and another stabbing, forcing officers to sort out fact from fiction. Police officers responding to each and every one of those, trying to determine if any of those were actual real reports or if this was just what happened sometimes in social media where all the information was getting out and, and, and there was a, a, a panic going about. But police say they may only have themselves to blame. Sometimes we are not as effective as, as we are uh, in, in policing in terms of monitoring the social media world. We need help with that. We need people to call us, but we also recognize our responsibility to get the informa information out because people are concerned. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. And investigators say the stabbing suspect has a history of mental health issues, and they provided some new insight today. Without being too specific, they said Kendrick White was involuntarily committed to a mental health facility recently in another city. That may provide some context to his DWI arrest last month in Austin. The arrest affidavit for that crime said White told the officer he took two happy pills which were listed as Zoloft, a treatment for depression and anxiety.